Right here. Oh. Come on, we're missing the good stuff here. I know, right? Good times. Indiana Jones is shot him by now. What's that? I just tried to see how, when, when do we do the Indiana Jones moves where he either just decks them or shoots them. That's what I kept asking last weekend. That's my specialty. <laughs> Wait, it's awesome. a movie. Okay, so he we're going to go through a couple of quick just reactions to show that the same types of movement is going to work in almost every case. My motto is always Back. good. Why break a sweat when you pull oh, oh. a trigger? Turn the wrong way. I did. Turn the wrong way. Okay. But you gotta you gotta watch the tell watch where they're telegraphing. So if you're watching their shoulders, that's gonna tell you which way the hand is gonna go. It's hard because my I'm gonna wanna watch the knife. My my mental psyche is gonna wanna watch the, the blade. Right, I'm afraid of the blade. Watch what not. happens if you simply turn to the side in either direction. Simply start mm -hmm. rotating. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the, the, the main thing is rotating out of the line of attack. This becomes critically important with firearms. So rotating out of the line of attack. Now, now rotate opposite, opposite direction, opposite direction. Got to slow everything down. Same direction. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. So, uh, show me the universal, right? Okay. So could go that way, or could go this way, right? Or what you really want is this one, and it. Watch what happens if you do it with the opposite hand. Right? Interesting. And now, now all you got to do is your turn. Uh -huh. Now, now straighten out. Straighten out. That's it. Interesting. Right? Yeah. And if you trap with this hand when you do that, watch what happens when you turn your body. Right? You're turning your body. Now I've got no power. Right? Yeah. So now I've got down. no power. You're probably going to let go of the knife. Losing the knife. Yeah, that's nuts. <clears throat> so it's all about rotating out. I could, too many moves, yep. too much movement. I'm thinking about it too much. Yeah. The, the easiest thing to remember, bring your hands up to your chest and turn. Okay. To, if you're looking forward. So you're meeting them off center and turning forward, right? So just bring, there you go. Bring both hands up to the chest. Could be either way, right? Oh. I'm not Don't watching worry. the television. We're going we're we're gonna, to we're gonna do outtakes on this. Don't worry about it. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> and then we're going to have a blooper. Other way. Okay. This way? Start. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just bringing the hands up to the chest and to here. Up to the chest and simply turn to, to face forward. And using the, the weapon itself as a lever. So we can see that better. Same thing works front on. Okay, so there's one. There's one. But assume I've got the drop on you here. I can step into no. it. Turn. Okay, so when you when we go here, turn out, turn out this way, right? Bring your hands up to your chest and turn back. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Bigger blade, but same moves. Right? Turning out and in. I can, can do a number of different things then once yeah. I have you. The follow-ups are easy. Yeah. Getting that, in, getting that initial <laughs> turn to avoid the, the attack is the main thing. And that's simply accomplished by rotating the body. Right? Rotate and back. Rotate, and this one's even better, and back. Awesome. Although I did that a little wrong to the last one of balance, but I had you in the same position, so right. At worst case scenario, we're both in the same spot. So you can see how it's it, it, having it. You're just real simple, real basic movement. All you're doing is turning and bringing your hands up to your chest, yeah. and then turning back. Now we're going to the retaining weapon through disarm, and the rotate and drop into crouch. Uh, Remember the one let's, we were doing. Uh, don't don't we want to start to work with the pistol a little bit? We can do that. We can do the handgun first. Okay. It'll work with the knife Where too, though. Where is my? Right there. There it is. 
see it's bright orange. I should see this stuff. Too bad I'm not a canary. Okay, so here we, now now we get into the fun stuff. So as usual, it's always the same. I'm going to rotate my body. I'm not going to move my feet. I'm simply going to rotate my body. Now, am I in the line of your attack? No. No, I'm not in the line of the attack. He pulls the trigger now. He's going to match. Rotating out. And then I rotate to face. And I have the gun. That's a, that's, that's a one-handed disarm. That's the fastest disarm. Watch what happens to your trigger finger when I do that, okay? So I'm going to rotate out, bang, and rotate back in. Could you maintain your no. grip on the trigger? Slipped right out. Yep. And even if the gun goes off anywhere here, yeah, it's going to be... Yeah, the gun's going to go off over here. Yeah. Just kill the camera, man. We're going to do a video with the paintballs. So we're going to actually get patterns. Nice. We'll be able to get patterns on this. So, okay. Yeah. Turning out. Can you see me? No. Turning back in. One hand at this time. One quick question because I've always wondered this. If that gun goes off and it's really automatic, it's really hard if I can hit him in the back. Is that going to lose your grip when you're disarming? I owe him. It might. Shot me in the belly. But the key is it's going <laughs> off and he didn't hit you, so we can deal with that later. Okay. Okay. So the, so the follow through. And where, where the uh, universal attack comes in with Justin's the one yes. is I can do this, bang, step, and you know, bring him down here. Down I've got the gun pointing straight up. No, I, I'm not, not and I'm turning in. So if anything, if anybody's going to get shot here, it's going to be him. Yeah. Let's do that again so we can so we can see that. Okay, so I'm turning out, bang. And I'm turning back in. John is uh, going to try to Maybe I have a little bit more room, a couple more inches. Mm -hmm. Or he's standing a little further away. Now this is where you really start to see, especially with the center on, right? With the universal attack, okay? Right? Classic. Right? got to start somewhere. My bad. Okay. Least motion possible. Turn and straight in. If you do that quick enough, I won't have time to track you. Yeah. So what I've done is I've turned out of the line of the attack. Can you see me? No. And straight in to here. The gun's completely put away from you. I can't, I can't bring it back in or nothing. Want to try that a few times? Yeah. OK, sure. let's start with the one-handed disarm. Just, just go ahead, okay. turning out. OK. And could be either hand. That's the beauty of it. Could be either hand, and you're there. You go. Just get a good grip and turn back in straight. Like you said, right? Yeah. Doesn't even have to be that good of a grip, right? And again, we're talking low accuracy. You should be able. To, you should, in theory, be able to just push. Now, now start pushing forward. Now my finger's off the trigger. My finger is off the trigger right there. I can't maintain my finger on the trigger when you do that. Let's try it again. Bang! The gun goes off. And pushing, just simply pushing towards the body. I can't, my, my finger can't stay on the trigger. Again. That's it. Okay. Now let's try with universal. Over the wrist. Turn out. Okay. And you're, you're bringing the opposite hand in. Over the top. Oh, no, on this side. Yeah. Then I'm trapping it on me. Okay. Yes. Don't want to do that. Well, we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so... Turn out of the shot, bang, and straight in, and out. Bang, straight in, there it is. You're still bringing your hands to your chest and then just going back out again. It's the same movement. And as far as bringing the hands to the chest,